beautiful, beautiful message that the priest has brought out. Let's give the priest a hand again on that one. That was beautiful. All praise the Lord. We just want to give all praise to and honor to Yahweh by Shem Yahweh Shai. Yahweh being the name of the Most High God, Yahweh Shai being the name who, who is ignorantly called Jesus Christ, right here in uh, Babylon, also known as um, America, also known as spiritual Sodom, spiritual Egypt, right? And who are we? We are the Hebrew Israelites. We are God's chosen people. Right. Give me Psalm 82 right. and 6, right? And um, I want you to give me Deuteronomy 7 and 6, right? So we, what we're doing is we're coming out here in these last days in the fourth quarter, we prophesying and we bringing out the Most High's words. That's right. Because the Most High said that this place is going to burn. And he's going right. to use the arm of the Israelites to help bring destruction to this place. That's right. And how do we bring destruction to this place? By waking our people up, man. That's right. We're not coming out here shooting up no, 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 no stores. We ain't coming out here gang banging and riding on people. We coming out here, we riding on the enemy by waking our people up That's and tell them to come back to the law, statutes, and commandments that the Most High gave us, That's right? Yeah. That's how we get our power back. That's right. The priest was bringing out earlier, how do you get your power back? We do it by bringing, by getting these law, statutes, and commandments and our, and our mindset, right? That'd be our system, right? We used to wake up, smoke a blunt, wake up, drink, right? Now we wake up and we give thanks to Yahweh Ba Hashem Yahweh Shai. That's right. So that way, because we understand that we were we were just like everybody else coming up out here to the camp with questions, getting flyers, right? right? We was the same ones out here that had, we was living in sin, man. Right. Right? right. But what we came to tell y'all is that if you are on this sign right here, if you are a so-called Israel, a so-called black, Hispanic, and Native American, you are an Israelite. And you are a God according to the Bible. Right. That's right. right. This the book of Psalm, chapter 82 and verse 6. I have said, ye are God. Now the most high right here is talking to his people, right? He's going through David and he's and he's talking to his people. And he's saying that we are gods, right? That's right. So that means what? That means we got power. Right? But right now we don't have no power. Why? Because we are not keeping the law, statutes, and commandments. So this is where we're all out here telling y'all what's up. You know, you got a grace period to get your life right. You got a grace period to, 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 to learn these law, statutes, and commandments to get them down packed. But that grace period, it, it has an has a, a expiration date on it, right? So you can't continue to rely on grace. And the Christian church has That's used right. grace for 15, 20, 30, 40, 50 years. Right. Right? That grace period has been done. So what does that tell you? That they will continue to live in sin. They are okay with that, and they will be destroyed, thus saith the Lord. Right. Right? right? Read it again. I have said, ye are God, and all of you are children of the Most High. We are the children of the Most High. Right? Give me uh, uh, Exodus 4 and 22. Right? We are the children of the Most High. Right? Read that. Huh? Deuteronomy chapter 7, verse 6. For thou art in holy people unto the Lord thy power. The Lord thy power hath chosen thee to be a special people unto himself. Unto himself, right? So we, we got we have we actually have a spiritual father. That his his name is Yahweh, right? We have a spiritual father. So read that again from the top, brother. For there are the holy people. We are a holy people. Like the priest was saying, we are separate. We are, we are, we are segregation, we are pro-segregation, right? You so-called blacks, Hispanics, and Native Americans, you need to separate from your enemies because your enemies is why you are still at the bottom. You are, uh, you are uh, on a lower state. You are part of the dust because you continue to hold hands with your oppressors, man. This don't make no damn sense. You got people walking up and down the street, literally not being holy. They're being uh, integrated with one another as opposed to being holy, right? right. Say it again. For there are holy people until the Lord thy power. The Lord thy power have chosen thee to be a special people. Now that word special, right? That word special holds a lot of weight because the Most High said that we are special, right? Read it again, uh, uh, keep reading, brother. To expect, have, the Lord have chosen thee to be a special people unto himself above all people that are upon the face of the earth. Above all people that are upon the face of the earth. I like that. 
Right? right? When I heard that, that was one of the best news I've ever heard. That I got, I, look, if I can get my power back and, and be at an exalted state above all nations, right? you know how good that should make you feel? Right. Right? So we understand that. We got to separate from our enemies because our enemies have continued to bring us to a lower state. Right? They are, they are actual weights on us. Right? It's like you're trying to climb a mountain. And when you're, getting, when you're trying to climb a steep, tall mountain and you got all this luggage on your back, you got to drop that weight and that luggage off because it's holding you back. That's right. Right? That's all these other nations. They're holding us back. Now, you may, you may be able to, 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 to get a nice house or a nice car, cling it to the so-called white man, but the most high going to destroy you for, 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 the, for, the, uh, the, for your lack of knowledge. That's right. Right? That's right. Now, once you get this, you are able to make adjustments. But before that, our people didn't know this. Our people was on, on the mindset of kumbaya. Everybody hold hands, right? The worst high, the most high don't work like that. The most high hate these other nations, man. He gonna put them to death. That's, That's right. right. That's right. See what I'm saying? Read that in, uh, yeah, you got it, brother. It's the book of Second Edges, chapter six and verse 54. And after these, Adam also, whom thou made his Lord of all thy creatures. Come. So we all come from Adam. We understand that, right? The Hamites, they come from Adam, right? These so-called uh, white folks, they come from Adam. The Chinese man, the Japanese man, the, uh, the, the East Indian, the Arab, they all come from Adam, right? Keep reading. Of him come we all, and the people also whom thou hast chosen. Right. So we also come from Adam because we are the people that was chosen. We just read that in Deuteronomy 7 and 6. Keep reading. Verse 55. All these have I spoken before thee, O Lord, because thou madest the world for our sakes. For whose sakes? For our sakes. No, for everybody's sake. For our sakes. Our sakes. The world is made for our sakes, not nobody else. That's right. So this whole idea that everybody's supposed to be coming hand in hand, well, why is it the white man coming to help us out? Right? The, mo the white man has had this country on lock since 1441. Right? They came in here since 1441, spitting all this white Jesus garbage, right? Keep reading. As for the other people. Now, as for the other people, right? Because the Most High made this land for our sakes, this world for our sakes. What about the other folks, right? We get a whole lot of Jakes coming up here asking strictly about Mr. White Man, right? Which also come of Adam, thou hast said that they are nothing. Now, now look, the Most High said these other nations are nothing. What's going on, brother? How you doing, man? Shalom, brother. You know, you know what we up here for? We up here for you, right? Yeah. Right. For the people. For who? What, what people? Wow. Exactly, right. right? So what does that mean, right? It means to come back to the small statues and commandments. Right? You ever, you read the Bible? Yeah, I read the Bible. I know what the Bible is more signs to Let me ask you a question. Why would you read all three of those books? Because the Bible it gives me the basic foundation. The, ba the basic foundation. And then what do those other two books give you? One Quran and the more scientific of America gave me more uh, it gave me a clear understanding about my ancestors. So 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 who's your ancestors? The Antonites, the Cantonites, the Moabites, the original people. You're a Moabite? Yes, sir. We know what a Moabite is? What is a Moabite? What, what, you, you what is your definition of a Moabite? My, my my definition of the Bible of the, of the Moabite comes from the Bible, right? The Moabites are going to go far east. That's the so-called Chinese man. So would you consider yourself a Chinese man? I was consider myself an Asiatic man. An Asiatic man, yeah. right? And I think like uh, the Moors, they say, you know, we come from the North West Africa Shores of Africa. And okay. we descended it from, from the east to the west. Okay. That's how we came in the north, to the winters of North, the north America. Now let me ask you this. Did you know that the Bible and that book, that the other, other two books that you're reading, right? They contradict each other. I, I, I would just, I, I wouldn't say that to a degree because the Bible actually backs the whole Quran or the more scientific love. No, no, what I'm telling you is that the original book that your Quran comes from, comes from the Bible. That's right. You know that, right? If you go to 2nd one, uh, 2 and 22, it says that the so-called God's chosen people are the Israelites. That's right. Not the Arabs. That's right. So the Bible, the, the Quran that you mean, the Quran means to recite, correct? All right, so Quran, literally means uh, to recite what is uh who, who gave us the quran who gave the so-called black man in the quran 
Muhammad gave them the, the, the so-called black man, but you know Muhammad was, was some people say Muhammad was a white man, right? But he was there for the Arabs. Are you Arab? I think you have, I think you, no, I'm not Arab, but I think you have. So why would you read a book for the Arabs? I think it has more to do with, of, uh, of a cultural thing because when you look at but it, your culture is what? Is your culture Arab? My culture, honestly, it's not. My culture is American and African. I read my Before he was American, what were you? I was African. Before he was African, what were you? What was I? Was I Hebrew? Right? He was a Hebrew, brother. Right. We came out of uh, uh, out of Israel from the Roman sack Jerusalem around 70 AD. Then we went down to West Africa. So when we call ourselves African, we did get picked up on the shores of West Africa. I, yes, I know. But our people go all the way back to Israel. I know that the the Hamptonites, oh, yeah, the Hamptonites. Listen up, brother, listen up. It's the book of Galatians, chapter 4 and verse 26. But Jerusalem, which is above, is free, which is the mother of us all. So Jerusalem is our homeland. Jerusalem is our motherland. Africa is really just a continent that was named after a so-called white man. Right, but the Middle East is attached to Africa. All them Africa. Middle East is a direction. You're right, though. The Middle East was attached to Africa. Right? There was no such thing as the All of us in Africa and Asia. Right. So what I'm trying to tell you, brother, is instead of you reading two different books that contradict the Bible, just stick to one book because now you're going to be confused. Making right? Many books. Making a many books gives you confusion, brother. Right. So what we're trying to tell you is that the reason, let me ask you another question. What has, you got a precept? Okay, hold on. What has the so-called more, the, the, what was that a book? The more strong or the more strong. Right, what prophecies in those have come to pass? What prophecies? Because the Holy Quran and the more strong of America is based on the teachings of Jesus and John. It's, it's, it's the 18 years of missing of the Bible. It's Can you prove that? that? Huh? Can you prove that? Uh, <laughs> no, I can't physically prove it. The reason why we read this book is because this book has so many prophecies but I will, that it's always coming I will say this though, uh, Islam, I will say this. The more has taught me has my, my, my proclaiming my being black, African American, anything. Black I'm not, is a color though, right? But black is not a color, but black is not a nationality. So me, to me, my, to me, uh, me proclaiming my me being black or African American, I'm not being recognized by the cities that I'm living in. Why is that? I have We're under these curses. That's the reason why. I have no nationality. I'm not tied into no legal family. That's why. Right. I'm, that's not we. You got this preset? I'm listening, brother. This is Ecclesiastes. Ecclesiastes, chapter 12, verse 12. Bring it out. And further, by these, my son, be admonished of making many books. There is no end. Right. And much study is a weirdness of the flesh. So what we trying to tell you, brother, is you got the you got a good deal about yourself because you read in the books. Some of our folks don't even read books. They watch TV, they on Facebook all day, Instagram, all that. But you gotta read the correct books because now you're gonna be confused if you're reading three different books that has three different messages. So let me ask you a question. Go ahead, brother. What was Jesus? What do you mean? Every time you went to Jesus, what, 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 what was Jesus overall life? What do you mean by his life? His life was to deliver the Lord. His, his, his life was to bring salvation to the children of Israel and nobody else. His life, his life and practice was to practice freedom. Was to practice peace. That's the peace for who? For the people. Oh, not for the Israelites, correct? Right? No, right. not just for the Israelites, for all the pieces. Show me that, brother. Not six, six, so, six, and, 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 so, I, show me, show me that. Because uh, Matthew 121 uh, said he only came for the nation of Israel. 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 But all in, 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 in the world. Who was we all? And if we all came from the Middle East, and we all were going to be a tribe, where did we originally come from? And we all made up there. What I'm saying is there's 12 tribes. Right? Right here. All these 12 tribes came from the South. Give me that uh, Luke. Pull up, huh? Jacob. Luke. Yep, you won't get that right here. So wait, listen to this, brother. Because you, you, what, you, what you're trying to say is that Jesus came from the whole world. Black, white, green, and blue. That's not what the Bible tells us. Right? Okay. Mr. Book of Luke, chapter 1, verse 68. Blessed be the Lord God of Israel. The Lord God of who? Israel. Of Israel. Right. For he have visited and redeemed his people. It is people. All right, so let me ask you a question. Hold on, hold on, hold on. And, and have raised up and horn the salvation for us. Now, who is the horn of salvation? You would call him Jesus, right? Your name is Hollow Shot, right? Keep it. And your house and your servant David. 
So that all talks to the Israelites, brother. There's no idea that Jesus came and died for the so-called Moabite or the so-called Am Ammonite, right? Or these, not, not even so-called. That's who they are. This is how they're trying to use. Why are the original people in the Bible, in the beginning of the Bible, Genesis? The Israelites and Catholics. Okay, we're just Can you go back to us? A second episode. Second Edges, chapter six and verse fifty-four. Verse fifty-six. As for the other people, he says, as for the other people, which also come of Adam. Thou hast said that they are nothing. So that's that's why the Most High made those other nations. They are nothing. But what are they like? Well, be like unto spittle. You know what spittle is? What spittle? No, no, no. I was going to read Yeah, let's ask you a question about that. Okay, okay. We'll get there. But let's read it again from the top. As for the other people, which also come of Adam. So would you agree that all these other nations, the whites, Chinese, uh, 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 East Indian, they all come from um, Adam, correct? Adam and Eve, right? All right, keep reading. Thou hast said that they are nothing. Most I call them nothing, right? Now, if I said somebody was nothing, what kind of respect do I have for that? You have no respect. No respect, right? Okay, that's good. But be like unto spittle. What's spittle? I don't know what to tell you. Spittle is spit. Right. So he's saying that those other nations are literally spit. They're nothing. Right. So some hey, look, what was Pharaoh? Pharaoh was an Egyptian, right? Right. A so-called Hamite, right? The Most High exalted him just to bring him down to show the whole world that he's the Most High God that's and right. nobody else. Right. So that's 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 the power that we serve. Right. Right? Right. We got a precept. Bring this out, brother. This is Isaiah chapter 40, verse 17. It says, all nations before him are as nothing, and they are counted to him less than nothing. So all nations are nothing according to the Most High God. This is thus said the Lord, right? Everything in this Bible is thus said the Lord. Uh, yeah, give me 2 Timothy 3.16. Right? Yeah. yeah, bring what you got. This is Isaiah chapter 34, verse 16. Seek ye out of the book of the Most High. Seek out of this book. Right? It, oh, the Quran. What about the Quran? Is it the Quran in there? Nope. Seek ye out of the book of the Most High. Wow. And read. No one of these shall fail. None shall want her mate. For my mouth it have commanded. And his spirit it have gathered them. So when you said the book is about the teaching of Jesus. No, no, I, I, I just said about the book. Well, I could say this, brother. It's, 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 it's also a book of laws, statutes, and commandments. Right? It's a book of our ancestors. This is like a photo album when you read this book. You read about brothers like Zerubbabel, brothers like uh, uh, Enoch, the brothers all through the Bible, that's your forefathers, right? So what we're telling you is that when you got all these books that's out here that has no prophecy, that has in, that holds any weight, you got to put it away. I'm going to say this and I'm going to get it, I got to put it work. Okay. So, uh, Father, Jesus said, Lord, I mean, no matter what they are. Lord, I mean, no matter, you say love, I mean, right. I'm going to add on to it. No matter what Don't add to it. No matter what they are. Don't add to it, brother. Right. But, uh, you know, we're supposed to live our life as to these principles. So, you know, I'll live my life to love Jesus, the justice. Because that's what's going to bring justice. That's what's going to bring unity. So, what, no, no matter what religion, right. that's how we're going to bring. That's not about none of that. But the only way we're going to be recognized. Who's your neighbor? My brother and sister. Right. Who is your neighbor, though? Alright, All right. give me the Luke 19, start at uh, 16. Leviticus, sorry, sorry, Leviticus 19, start at 16. Leviticus chapter 19, verse 16. Verse 16. Thou shalt not go up and down as a tail burial among thy people. Neither shalt thou stand against the blood of thy neighbor. I am So your neighbor is your Israelite brother, right? I am the, the Most High. Thou shalt not hate thy brother in thine heart. Thou shalt in any wise rebuke thy neighbor and not suffer sin upon him. See what that's saying? So your brother is your, also your neighbor. That's right. That is talking about. The Most High is talking about these, because we just read that the Most High said these other nations are spittle. Right? So when it's talking about love your neighbor, it's talking about loving your fellow brother. How do you love your brother? 
you tell them to keep these laws, statutes, and commandments. So what we up here doing is we actually loving you by telling you to get out of those other books and come back to the Bible and come back to the word of the most. Sorry. Sorry. This is the book of Mark 12 and 29. And Jesus answered him, The first of all commandments is here, O Israel, the Lord our God is one Lord. And thou shalt love the Lord thy God with all thy heart, with all thy soul, with all thy mind, with all thy strength. This is the first commandment. And the second is like, namely this, thou shalt love thy neighbor as thyself. See that? This, there is none other commandment greater than these. Israel is a name. Right, right. What was that, what was that scripture? Mark 12, 29 through 31. Yeah, brother, come, come back. But you got a flyer, right? You got the flyer? Give him another flyer. Get him, get him two flyers, just in case he missed the first one. Hey, brother, you got a, you got a question, brother? All right, shalom. All right, brother, All right. you got to come back to the laws. Come back up here, brother. What we doing is, and give me a uh, first, give me, Give me that in Jeremiah 17. So what we doing is that we telling everybody that when you call, like, what's your nationality? What would you consider yourself? African American. Right? Where'd you get that from? Who told you you were African American? Slave owners. Not even, not even a slave owner. Jesse Jackson, right? That's right. 1984, he came up with African American. Right, that's right. Did you know that African and American were two white men's last names? Yes. So when you call yourself African American, you're saying that you're two different white men, and you don't even know it. Okay. You get what I'm saying? Okay. Do you, it's not now, let me ask you another question. Would you consider yourself a black man? Yes. Now, black is a color, right? If I go in the crown box, I got different colors. Red, green, blue, right? And then there's black. All right. Would you consider yourself black because you're really a different shade of brown, right? right? And what I'm trying to tell you is that you're an Israelite or probably from the tribe of Judah. You see what I'm saying? All right. So what does that mean that you're an Israelite? You have to keep the law, statutes, and commandments that the Most High gave only the Israelites, right? Give me uh, uh, right? That you're only an Israelite, I mean, slacking. That you're an Israelite, and you have to keep the law, statutes, and commandments that God gave you and all our people. You see what I'm saying? Right. Read this. Jeremiah, chapter 17, and verse 4. And thou, even thyself, shalt discontinue from thy inheritance. That That's why, hold on, slacking. That's why we don't know who we are. Because the Most High said that we would discontinue from our heritage, right? Now, when I say that, now you have a different idea of why you were calling yourself uh, African American, right? Because someone told you that. Now, if they told you that you were an Israelite, we wouldn't even be in the situation we're in because the whole nation of Israel will come back and keep these laws, statutes, and commandments that was given to us, right? As a matter, I'll take it a step further. If, 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 if the whole nation of Israel knew who they were, we would be on top. And everybody else would be on the bottom. Okay. You see what I'm saying? Yes. You believe in God? Yes. Okay, that's good, right? Keep reading. And thou, even thyself, shalt discontinue from thy inheritance that I gave thee, and I will cause thee to serve thine enemies. Who's your enemies, brother? My enemies? Yep, just ponder on that, we're gonna get to that. And the land which thou knowest not, for ye have kindled a fire in my anger, which shall burn forever. Why do we kindle a fire in the Most High's um, anger? Why, why do we Why do we make the Most High angry? Disobedience. Right. Who? Exactly. Right. Now, who is your enemy? Uh, uh, <laughs> Think about it, brother. Anybody who don't feel the way I feel. So, how do you feel? What does that mean? How anybody doesn't All feel right, the way you feel? Uh, Elaborate. Ain't on the same train of thought that I am. Somebody is not on the train of thought that I am. What's your train of thought? What's your What's your plan to get us out of this lower state? Well, I have knowledge of self. What does that mean? What is What is knowledge of self? How is that going to get the so-called Blacks, Hispanics, and Native Americans from getting gunned down in these streets, being the last hired, first fired, getting well, getting chastised through this whole nation, throughout the whole world? How is your What's your plan to get us out of that? Right? So look, I'm going to tell you who your enemy is. Deuteronomy chapter 28, verse 68. And the Lord shall bring thee into Egypt again with ships. How did we get to America? How did the so-called black man get into America? Both. Oh, by, by both, right? By cargo slave ships, right? Yes. Okay, we got that down. Keep reading. By the way whereof I spake unto thee, 
Thou shalt see it no more again. There ye shall be sold unto your enemies. So who are we sold to here in America? Who are we sold to? Who are we sold to? White man. The white man, correct? And who sold us into the white man's hands? The African man over on the, on, on, us, on that part of yeah, Africa. Yeah. They right. sold us into that. Yeah, yeah. Right? Yeah. They duped us. They you see what I'm saying? I got you. So who is your enemy? Your enemy is anybody that's not an Israelite. Right. This is thus said the Lord. The Most High is not dealing with any other nation. So that's what does that right. mean? Give me Sirach 12 and 10. Right? What does that mean? My enemy is anybody that's not an Israelite. If, if, they, not, right. if, if they father does not come that's from this right. 12 tribe chart, they are a potential enemy. Right? Does that mean you gotta go and, 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 and go start killing folks? No. Right? We're not we're not saying that. But what we're saying is you have to treat them as an enemy, meaning don't don't trust them. Be watchful. Be watchful, right? Read this, brother. It's the book of Sirach, chapter 12 and verse 10. Never trust thine enemy. Never trust thine enemy. Who's your enemy? Those other nations. Other nations. Don't trust them. Keep reading. For light as iron rusted. So is his wickedness. Right. See that? So when you start trusting the enemy more and more and more, and you start spending the night hanging out with them, they will turn you in That's to right. the higher authorities. Wow. They're going to do it to you. You might not see it coming. That's how crafty they think. That's how they are. You see what I'm saying? Yes. Same thing with, with, with the so-called um, African man, right? We have Barack Obama, who is a Hamite, right? His daddy comes from Kenya. All right. He's not our people. We, we, we exalted him as our people, but he never was our people. This is why so many um, executive orders got passed under his watch, and they never did. They never benefited our people. That's right. The LGBTQ, they got rights, right? right. Animals got rights. Right. The black man or the Hispanic man didn't get nothing. Got nothing from Obama. Matter of fact, Obama comes from Chicago. That's his home state. Mm -hmm. How many people get? They say 75 people on average get killed in Chicago a week, and that's his people. Now we see Donald Trump. He's passing orders to help his people out. Why didn't Obama did it for our people? We had the house, right? And even when we didn't have the house, he's still the executive officer of America. He can do executive orders like that, but he didn't do it for our people. But he had a black wife, he had, you know, two daughters, and he was, you know, he looked like us, so we, you know, we, 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 we joined hand in hand with him, but he wasn't our people. He was out, he was an enemy of our people. Every single president in America was an enemy of our people. That's right, non-Israelite. Non-Israelite, that's right, brother. Right. You got a flyer? Yes. Okay, so you know what we do at the school, right? We teach the people the Bible, right? I got I got something for you. This is Psalms chapter 83, verse one. Listen up, brother. Keep not thou silence, O power. Hold not thy peace, and be not still, O power. For lo, thy enemies make atonement, a tumult. Right. And they that hate thee have lifted up the, the head. See that? They have taken crafty counsel. What's crafty counsel? Slick. Right, they slick, right? They start making laws. They start, and, and, and it's talking about enemies, plural, right? Keep reading. They have taken crafty counsel against thy people and consulted against thy hidden ones. They have said, come and let us cut them off from being a nation. Right, so we just read to you in Jeremiah 17 and four that we lost our heritage. We lost who our, our identity is. Right. And then the brother just read here a powerful scripture that said they were gonna, this is all, this is precept upon precept. It's saying that our people were going to get duped out from being who they are. Right. And all the other nations were in on it. Slickness. Slickness. Right. They are the enemies of the Israelites, right. which is who you are. Yes. You see what I'm saying? All right. So what, is it, what does it mean to be an Israelite? How do you become an Israelite? It's not through your skin tone. It's through your bloodline from your father's side. We're talking about patches in your bloodlines, right? Right? So your father goes back more than likely to the tribe of Judah. We don't know who we are, but this is a starting point. This chart right here is a starting point on where we come from. You see what I'm saying? So let me ask you something. Give me access. You see what I'm saying? So what, what I'm trying to tell you is that the goal of our, the goal of what we're doing here is to tell our people to, to, to convert back to who we used to be. To repent first and then convert back. Because um, when we go back to the book of Sirach, let's start at verse 15. You ever heard of the part, the curses of Deuteronomy? That was yes. one of it, yeah? So what do you know about that? 
All right, but you heard about it, right? Yes. Okay. Did you know that it was um, a prophecy? It was it was foretold that our people not only were going to go into slavery, but we were going to be um, struck with disease, HIV, right. AIDS. Right. We were going to be struck with single parent households. Right. We were going to be struck with black on black, black on brown violence. Right. You see what I'm saying? This is all in the book. We were going to get our, our food. Our, our water, our clothes from our enemies. You see what I'm saying? So when you get your clothes from wherever you go, I don't care wherever you go, it's probably going to be come from, it's going to come from the white man. It's going to be made in China, but the person that gets the money from it, the residuals, are your enemies. Right? Um, yeah, let's bring that out. Let's look, let's look at Acts, chapter 3, and verse 19. Repent ye therefore and be converted. It says repent and be converted. So first you have to repent, brother. You eat, you eat pork, you eat shellfish, crab, yeah. lobster, you gotta repent. You know that's a sin. That's not only a sin, it's an abomination, thus said the Lord. Right. Did you know that? No. That's, that's good that you're here with us because now, we're, and we don't have it up here, but now we're telling you that you can no longer eat pork. You can no longer eat shellfish and crab and lobster, right? right? That's unclean. You see what I'm saying? Bottom feeders, catfish, all that. Yeah, Bottom feeders. You see what I'm saying? Yeah, and when you eat that, you you got you, you don't shave neither, brother. I see you got the goatee. Let it all grow. That is also a commandment. Thus saith the Lord. Right. You see what I'm saying? Brothers up here got fringes on. These are small little things. You love God? Yes, sir. All right. Talk, how, how do you love God? Right. Not doing what he's doing. Being himself. obedient, right? Being obedient. Yeah. Right. So when God tells you don't eat pork, shellfish, crab, lobster. To show, to show that you love God, you cannot do that. That's right. Right? Now, because you now know that, you marked. Because you because you 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 a witness that you that you've been educated and you've been you held accountable, right? right. So now you gotta be converted. You have to repent first. You know what I'm saying? And then be converted. You got that? You see the um so Rock chapter 2 verse 15. Bring it out. They that fear the Lord will not disobey his word. See that? So if you fear the most high, you will not disobey his words. You see what I'm saying? That's right. So now that you know, brother, what you gonna do? Let me hear you say it. Tighten up. Tighten up, right? You gotta read these books. You gotta read this book. Just to get a good foundation. Where can I get this book? Brother, come to the school. We gonna, we gonna, I mean, I'll get you one person. You come to the Where school. Where is the school? It's on the fire. Okay. We're at 817 New Burn Avenue. Right by the uh yeah. by Bojangles. I got you. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. Okay. So look, um you still hold 319? There's more on that? Yeah, finish that up. Okay, this is my book. Acts 319. Repent ye therefore and be converted. That your sins may be blotted out. See that? When the time of refreshing shall come from the presence of the Lord. See that? Now give me uh, Hebrews 10 26. So, let me ask you another question. All right, what's your name? Sincere. Sincere. All right. Let me ask you a question, Sincere. When you say you love God, right? Now that you know what it takes to love God, it's obedience, right? Right. How will you be obedient now? Because if you mess up after today, you got a check mark. Now you get a grace period to get it right. You see what I'm saying? But it's gonna come a point where you have to deal with the wickedness that we that we inherit. I'm just gonna be honest. We have all inherited wickedness, right? I got tattoos. That's a sin. I've eaten pork, shellfish. I've collaborated with my enemy, right? After I've done that. I got this truth, I had to, I had to um, repent first and then be converted. Now that I'm living this life, I can never go back, right? Bring that out. The book of Hebrews chapter 10 and verse 26. For, for if we sin willfully, now look, we just told you everything that you need to do. Now the Bible says this, for if we sin willfully, after that, we have received the knowledge of the truth. There remaineth no more sacrifice for sin. You see that? That's right. So you got the truth today, right? This is what, the 20th? June 20th, you got the truth, right? Now, it's your job to come to the school, right? Read Leviticus to get the foundation of the laws. So now, 
you can have you can have your sins can, uh, um, uh, cleaned up because Acts 3 and 19 says to get your sins blotted out you have to convert and then Hebrews 10 26 says once you get the truth there's no more knowledge for sin I mean there's no more sacrifice for sin so everything that you know which his name, his name is Yahweh but you know we'll, we'll say Jesus for now right when Jesus came and died on the cross for Israel and no other nation he dies so that you can have that 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 chance at salvation but you have to first convert your mind and then convert your soul into becoming uh, back into this truth you see what I'm saying and not practice you can't go back to the left or right now right now you on that path you on that straight and narrow path to get that salvation you got to change that salvation so what's the time times this flyer tells me times yeah the times is on there yeah times is on there you see what I'm saying? Saturdays, 12 to 4. And then after that, so after, so we got camp, this is camp now, but after camp, we got we got class and we go into more, um, we, we go into a more teaching mode. But right now, we out here waking the people up. And everybody that's at that's the school, right. they, they have that knowledge, they have that foundation, or they're getting that foundation. So then they're able to then um, continue on the straight and narrow path. This is, a, this is a hard walk. Because look, I'll be the first to tell you, I grew up, you know, saying it was okay to eat shellfish, to eat crab, pork, and lobster, right? Now, I, I was celebrating Christmas, not too long ago, two years ago, right? I've been here for a year. So, so what does that mean? That means that I had to tell my children we can no longer do Christmas, right? No longer do Father's Day, Mother's Day. Those are all pagan holidays. Man may have pagan holidays, brother, right? Most I said to keep these laws, statutes, and commandments, thus said the Lord, right? So we keep Passover now. I gotta tell myself we doing tabernacles. We doing a, a Sabbath, right? We doing all that. That's our that's our goal, brother. Our goal is to help our help our people out, feed the sheep. You see what I'm saying? I'm with you. You with us? I'm with you. All right, brother. So what time? It's on the fly. Right. This is camp. Time. Right. That's after all the after time camp, the fly. we're going right to the class. So you, what, what, what you doing today, brother? What you got going on? Nothing. Right. So you might as well just come on to the school with us after this. You see what I'm saying? If you really give me Titus 116. You see what I'm saying? You you know where the Bojangles is on Newburn Avenue, exactly right? Out of while. Out of while in Newburn. Uh -huh. Right there in that building, second floor. Three at 330. Uh, 330. Alright. Mm -hmm. Listen, listen, okay, I got one more for you, brother. Hey, I got one question. Mr. I got you, brother. Mr. Book of Titus, chapter 1 and verse 16. They profess that they know God. But it works, they deny it. So your works, look, your works is what you do. You see what I'm saying? Your actions, the fruit that you bear. So if you out here, and let's say you leave tonight, right? Let's say you leave today, and you say, man, them brothers had a point, but I'm gonna go order me some shit, scamping, right? That that now you show the most high that you no longer love them. You see what I'm saying? You read it? Being abominable and disobedient and into every good work. Reprobate. See that? Disobedient. The Most High loves obedience. They say the Most High said obedience is better than sacrifice. You see what I'm saying? So our job is to be obedient. Now, brother, you had a question. Yeah. What's your question, brother? I want to know the 12 angels that decay, each one they name. The names? Yeah. 12 at the gate. It says right there. Come in class for that, brother. But let me ask you a question. You, are, you acknowledge that there's 12 gates in heaven? Now say it. Say it again? I said now say it. I don't know what that means, brother. Read this. That means no. Okay. All right, cool. You said no. I just want to actually, I just need the um, 12 names. That's right. All right. It's like, right who, who, who are the gates for? Let's find out. Well, this is the book out. of Revelation, chapter 21, verse 2. Listen, brother, you listening, brother? Listen, brother? Coach the Greed. Why the burn y'all cool because it's made devil? Okay, hold on, hold on, brother, hold on. Don't speak over the word, okay? I have some decorum and some respect, okay? I apologize. Okay, you good, brother, you good. Just listen up, then. This is the book of Revelation, chapter 21, verse 12. It had a wall, great and high. It had 12 gates. And at the gates, 12 angels. So this is describing 12 gates with 12 angels, right? Each at each gate. At each gate, right? Now let me ask you, what is a wall used for? 
to keep people out, correct? Why call itself? Okay, so yes. this tells you that this, this heaven is, is, is exclusive only for certain people. Let's find out who they are, though. And names written thereon, which are the names of the 12 tribes of the children of Israel. So look, I ask anybody. You already, you already said who they are in this screen right here. You said they have what we have. Right. So who are the so children of Israel? That was, that, was, that was the people that was chosen. Right, exactly, I, brother. So heaven is only for the children of Israel, according to the Bible. You see what I'm saying? So when you got uh, a so-called white person, right? Yeah. They want to get into heaven. Ask them what gate would they come under? They were savages. They are savages. They, they still are. They even understand. Look, no, 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 look. Look at her shirt. Look at her shirt. Savage. Savage. That's the most high right there. That's the most high. That's the most high. You see what I'm saying? Look, hey, my shimmer my shit, I can have a shot. That's the most high right there. All right, brother, come check us out. You, you leaving? Never charge my phone. Okay. All right, brother, come to the class. Could you just tell me the um, twelve, the names? Uh, keep reading. Okay, hold on. Keep reading. Keep reading. Each age, which was the twelve age. Twelve. Yeah, it was twelve ages for the twelve tribes. I'm a, I'm a, I'm a, I'm a remember five. I, I learned this a long time ago, but I probably know. No, but there's twelve gates, twelve angels, not five. Excuse me, but I'm just saying, you know, just okay. Look, brother, come to the class. We got more edification for you. But that was a good question. I'm from Eastern Park. Okay. Where the, where the Israelites is right there in Brownsville, Brooklyn. Okay. Hey. They didn't tell you that in, in Brooklyn? I already knew it, but I see this this brought something back. It was like a plus degree with me. That yeah, brother there from Brother, you want the, the names of the the, the oh. Pace. I'm from J Street and Brown Hall, downtown. Hey, y'all come here to work. Come here to work. I just want to know. Come here to work. Don't walk by. Come check us out. Y'all not going nowhere. Come here to work, man. I still ain't heard. All right, brother. Repent, brother. Repent, sister. Can I hear one name? Ezekiel, chapter 48, verse 31. And the gates of the city shall be after the names. Of the tribe of Israel, three gates north, one gate of Reuben, one gate of Judah, one gate of Levi, and at the east side, four thousand and five hundred. Everybody held the gates down. That's all of them right there. Three gates and one gate of Joseph. See that? One gate. An angel for each one of those gates. One gate for them. That's who you are, Judah. Four thousand and five hundred measures. The three gates. One gate of Simeon, one gate of Issachar, one gate of Zebulun. Now read, read to the, the left, side, read to the right side of it. It'll tell you, it'll tell you uh, three gates. what group of people one represents that name. One gate of Ash, one gate of Natal. Verse 35, and it was round about 18,000 measures. And the name of the city from that day shall be the Lord is there. Right, you see that brother? So the 12 gates, that's for the 12 tribes of Israel. Nobody else can get into the gate if they not if they don't qualify. Right, probably so. It's the same the Lord. Right? Right. You hold something? Big wrong. What's that? All right. Give me uh give me my friend. So we out here trying to prophesy to our people, right? We try to wake the people up. But we also got another job. We're here to, to, to prophesy the downfall of this damn nation. That's right. Right? We're trying to, we're trying to prophesy and we're telling you that America will be destroyed. Thus saith the Lord. Get out. See what I'm saying? So it's time to get out of the sinking ship before you drown with it. And get your mind right and come back to the laws, statutes, and commandments of Yahweh Bahashem Hamashiach and Hawashah. That's right. These are the last, it's the fourth quarter. This is the fourth quarter. It's over after this. Right? Give me That's right. That's right? So, so, look, brother, all this other stuff that we're telling you, you can, yeah, keep learning, brother, but you got to come to the school. You see what I'm saying? Because when you get white, when you get mixed up with all these different philosophies and books, what happens is your mind is kind of, 
Bobby. Yeah. Okay. Have you read this Bible? The Holy Quran, a Bible was made by who read the man who was a law, the supreme being life and nation. Okay. The Holy Quran, a Bible inspired here, truly five thousand. Let me ask you something, brother, about the Quran. We just had another uh, conversation about the Quran. Inspired. Show me a prophecy in the Quran that has come to pass. You talk about something that's happening. I, I like know, that. All right, this is coming. I'm listening. The this is Nehemiah Bible. chapter three, verse one. Then. Holy Quran, a Bible. Bible looks like. Who Right? Read that, brother. This is so You talking about the Holy Quran, Bible? I'm listening. It's the book of Second Exodus, chapter six, and verse nine. For Esau is the end of the world. So let me just give you a quick synopsis, all right? Esau, who's Esau in the Bible? Esau was, um, his name, a whore. I can't even say it. Okay, I'm gonna just show you, brother. Esau is a so-called white man. His children are Edomites. Esau means wasted away. Musa was a half rich man. Brother, I'm talking about Esau, brother. the devil. Okay, and so was Esau. Right? Esau is the damn devil that the Bible speaks of. Right, right. Right. Okay? Let's talk about Jesus. Was, hold on, hold on, brother. Hold on, hold on, hold on, hold on, hold on. Keep reading, brother. Jacob is the beginning of the it that followed. So you are Jacob. We are Jacob. We get in this kingdom after Esau has is, is getting destroyed. You see what I'm saying? After Esau, these so-called white folks, most high gonna send your house shot down to so cut their heads off, and we're gonna come back and take this damn king of the Saul and Gomorrah. Right. See what I'm saying? If you turn around, your head will peel a pill of sand. Salt. He warned her. All right. He said, don't look back. If you look back, you will turn to a pill. He warned her. Yeah, but she's still Nehemiah, chapter 5, verse 1.